This is not the end for us. I won't accept that. How can you say that? You had sex with Taylor. You betrayed me. You violated our vows. We can't just pretend that nothing happened. Of course not. Of course not, but you and I have been through so much. We've dealt with so much so far. I never thought that you would betray me. I never thought that you'd be unfaithful. I really never thought that that would happen. It is the one thing, the only thing, that our marriage could not survive. Brooke, would you just try to understand why you slept with my husband? Why I'm supposed to accept that? Bridge was in the deepest despair I have ever seen him in. I tried to deal with that by taking pills. A lot more than you should have. Don't try to justify it. Doc, I need to work this out with Brooke. Just the two of us, okay? I'll, I'll be upstairs. Work it out? How are we going to do that? Logan, more than anything, I want a future with you. How can we do that, Rich? How can I be with you? How can I hold you and love you? When all I can think about is you and Taylor. What would you have me do? Not tell you to... Keep a secret from you? I could have done that. Maybe I should have. No, I couldn't have done that, Brooke, because I have too much respect for you. Too much respect for us. I don't want any secrets between us. I'm glad that you told me, Rich. Really. But it doesn't make the betrayal any less. We're falling apart here. You moved out of the house. And you've been so despondent. Yeah, well, there's a reason I've been so despondent. Yes, I know. And it all started with the night that your daughter died. And my son was driving the car, and I know that you haven't been able to forgive him. No. But I have tried. It's not all about Rick. It's also about Taylor. Logan. love with you. Rich, how can we make that love work? How? You do love me, but you hate my son, and he is a part of me, and that is never going to change. For the rest of our lives, he will be tied to me, the man that you blame for killing your daughter. And Taylor is the mother of this precious girl that and you two, you two have a tie together because of your two surviving children. Brooke, what are you trying to say here? What you have with Taylor is beautiful and lovely, and what you have with me now is tainted. No, that's not true. Yes, Rich, it is true. I really can understand why you despise my son. But that is why you can't love me unconditionally. Because my son is a part of me. So there's a part of me that you hate. And you will always hate. There's no denying that. Am I right? I will not let it in this way, Brooke. Or anyway. Rich, I know how much you love me. But our lives can't go on together. Not after everything that's happened. I don't believe that. Well, I don't want to believe it either. But it's not time for rose-colored glasses. It's time for reality. And as much as we love each other, we continue to hurt each other. Look, I, uh, I messed up with Taylor. I know that. Yes. I'm so sorry. 
I didn't want to hurt you. Nor I you. But that's what we keep doing. We keep hurting each other. And we can't fix it. It's beyond us, Rich. It's beyond you. It's beyond me. This life has really taken us for a cruel ride. And there's no way back. Our wonderful, beautiful, spectacular romance has finally come to an end. Nick! Logan, I will never, ever stop loving you. And I will never, ever stop loving you. Our wedding on the beach, all those memories, I will cherish them forever. This is not the life we had planned for our little boy. RJ growing up without his dad being there? Rich, you will spend time with RJ. Lots of time. In fact, we'll spend time together as a family. You, me, Hope, and RJ. But I really think, no matter how much it hurts, that you need to be with Taylor right now. She's the one who can bring you that peace. I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were finished. Oh, Taylor, wait. Come here. There's something I'd like to say. Both of you share two wonderful children together. And you've both suffered a terrible loss. I think that you need to be together right now. And, Rich, just let me say this, okay? Taylor, I can't bring peace to Rich's life right now. And you can. In fact, you may be the only person who can. So I want you to love him and to appreciate him and give him everything that I can. I want you to heal. I want your grief to end. And I know that Taylor can bring peace to your life, so let her do that for you. And be together. Find joy in your family together. Take care of Rich for me.